What is up everyone? It is day one of Will It Christmas. Brian here from Pit Face Barbecue. Currently the Pit Face Barbecue Whiskey Crew, at least for the uh, next 12 videos. And we are getting right into it with what I think is a really good chance for something to Christmas. Now if you want to know how the Will It Christmas thing works, there's an introductory video. I think I'm going to get it posted in the uh, description down below, but who knows, maybe I can't figure it out. Just look on the channel, you'll find something. But basically, we take the knot, the most unintentionally Christmas tasting whiskey thing, mix it with a little bit of something else, and see if we can't make that other thing taste a little Christmassy. That's it. This is easy. Uh, we're starting off with what is probably the thing I have drank more of in the last two years than anything else. Evan Williams Bottled and Bond. What's that showing? Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> um, love this stuff. 30 bucks, get a handle. I don't care if you mix it with Coke. I drink it neat. I make big, big ass uh, whiskey sours out of it. Stuff's awesome. By the way, what do you think? I, I couldn't find a Christmas hat. So I got this Danish Viking hat. I mean, at least it's the right colors, right? Anyway, I already preloaded here. I got a little bit of Evan Williams bottle to bond and a splash of the knot. And it's just time to find out will it Christmas. And we got a classic bourbon, a lot of sweetness, a lot of caramel. We're gonna get that peppermint, that gingerbread off of the knot. I think uh, I think this is gonna work. Let's find out. Man, this is uh, not gonna lie. It's a little disappointing on the nose. Not quite what I was expecting. It's almost dusty. Like uh, I mean, the, the only the most Christmassy part about the nose is the uh, layer of dust that sits on the uh, decorations up in the attic after, you know, they get 11 months of dust on them. That's the most Christmassy thing on the nose. Yeah, I mean, not much on the uh, palate either. It's, it was just uh, like the, the bourbon was just pulled off sides. I don't really get the, the profile of the Evan Williams. The peppermint's kind of hidden in there. It doesn't really get to stand out. Lost some of its sweetness. Tastes kind of dusty. Think of a candy cane scratch and sniff sticker. And some little uh, booger picking pecker head comes up, scratches it for you and shoves it in your face. And I mean, you get a little hint of the candy cane, but it's mostly just the smell of bad hygiene. That's uh, kind of what we're getting here. Man, a bit of a letdown. You know, uh, let's see, let's give this a score. Um, we're gonna go uh, one, no, two fruitcakes. I'm talking like the bad fruitcakes. I mean, you can tell it's part of Christmas, but you don't particularly enjoy getting them. So we have two fruitcakes and one bah humbug. Uh, I wanted to come out the gate strong with something that will Christmas, but alas, I must declare Evan Williams bottled a bond. It will not Christmas. Not a big deal though. I just poured a hundred proof uh, whiskey liqueur on top of a hundred proof bourbon. Uh, it can't be that bad, right? So we're gonna finish the glass anyway. At any rate, the first one down. We got eleven more to go. Hopefully, we can find something that Christmas. I know we will. I got a few good things in mind. Till then, enjoy it. We'll catch you on the next video. Cheers. Man, what a letdown.